Hey YouTube, it's Weird Paul. Today, we're going to take a look at my collection of vintage real and toy watches. The first real watch that I ever had was this Batman watch from the Marks Toy Company in 1974. When you wind it, the bats move and make a ticking sound. Marks also made watches featuring Superman, Mickey Mouse, and Raggedy Ann and Andy. I definitely remember wearing this watch in elementary school. The first toy watch that I remember having was this one from Trick Serial, and it was produced in the 60s. You could move his ears to change the time. It also came in blue, red, and purple. Strangely, both of these watches are half broken. This cheap digital watch was the one that I wore in high school. I always wore my watch too high up and on my right arm. Since I was right-handed, I should have worn it on my left arm, but I've always done things differently. In 1990, I bought these toy watches at the variety store D&K. The circular ones have women who look like some kind of princesses on them. The square one has a rabbit. And this octagonal shaped one features some kind of generic superhero. Let's take a look at a few more toy watches that don't actually do anything. Here's two ball game watches. One's a clown and the other one is a squirrel. These are probably the cheapest ones you can find. The hands do a to move on this one. This Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles item looks like a fake watch. But it's actually a fake compass. Cowabunga! How about compass bogus? In the 90s, I stopped wearing a watch because it would have gotten broken at my job. I started keeping my watch in my pants pocket. In 1994, I was using this Mortal Kombat Warrior watch. But it was a little tedious having to open this cover every time I wanted to see what time it was. In 1996, I got this watch from Kellogg's Cornflakes. It features their mascot, Corny, and it's pretty nice for a cereal premium. I didn't really use it, though, because in 1996, I also got this waterproof flipper wet watch from Rice Krispies. I got it by mailing in three UPC symbols, and it used to be filled with water and harmless mineral oil that's dried up over the last 20 years. When that battery died, I went on to using this 1997 Jurassic Park The Lost World watch. This was from Burger King. My sister was working there at the time and got them for me. There were four different watches. This one was the 3D Stego. I also got the Something Has Survived watch, but when I opened it, it was another 3D Stego. Since I was keeping all of my watches in my pocket anyway, around 2004, my girlfriend at the time got me this pocket watch. I only used it for about a year, and then it got banished to a box that I rarely open. This was the last watch that I ever used. As I was getting into my car one day, it fell out of my pocket and the car door closed on it. The band broke, the metal ring broke off, and the plastic cover fell out. But even after all of that, it still kept the time. In 2008, I finally got a smartphone, and the necessity of a watch was gone forever. I hope that you enjoyed seeing all of the watches today. If you did, don't forget to click the like button down below. I'll see you soon with more memories. Thanks, YouTube.